This is the MGTOW Infinium here with another Infinium training session. This Infinium training session is entitled Those Subtile Strong Signals. Now my MGTOW brothers, all around you, there are signals, strong signals to encourage you to stray off of the MGTOW path, to go back to the feminist plantation state where you will be enslaved. And these signals come to you in any uh, form, in any way, uh, through the airways, over your smartphone, uh, through the radio, through your TV. And they are subtle, but they are very strong in what they're saying. I will give you an example on the uh, airways now, on the TV, on um the internet, there is a certain diaper commercial which uh, portrays a uh, alpha type male as a uh, parenting pro because he uses these types of diapers. The commercial uh, shows this uh, man walking through a park type setting with his two daughters uh, and he encounters a uh, simp cup type who is struggling with a young boy uh, with his uh, diaper change and the uh, alpha type helps him out by tossing him one of these diapers that he uses. But if you look closely at this commercial, my MGTOW brothers, you will see that it's sending strong signals in a subtle manner. The first thing that you will see in this commercial that both men portrayed in this commercial have wedding rings on. So the signal there is you will do your duty. You will get married. You will procreate. You will serve in the feminist plantation state. You will do your duty as a slave to the feminist plantation state. You will as a man, get married. You have no choice in the matter. You will get married. You will, again, do your duty. Both men are in the park in the daytime. Their wives are not present. Again, the signal. You will serve your female masses by toiling in the slaves, slave fields of the feminist plantation state. You will become a beast of burden to the female slave masters, allowing them to do anything and everything they want to do in freedom and in peace. You again will be the beast of burden. Your female slave masters will be freed by you slaving in that, that field to do anything that they want to do, to run around on you, to do anything because you are again slaving in that slave pit, that slave field of the feminist plantation state. The alpha male who has um, the two girls with him, the girls seem to be well behaved, they're happy, they're happy-go-lucky, that type of thing. The signal, again, A, you as a man, when you marry, when you do your duty by getting married, you must produce females because the, fe the future is female. The future is female. It is not male. Secondly, B, it is better to have female children because they will give you less trouble. They will not cause you pain and agony because they are female. The simp cuck who is uh, struggling with the baby boy, who is uh, freaking out over a soil dopper, the signal. If you produce boys, they will give you de uh, difficulty. They will cause you problems. They will cause you issues. It is better, again, to have female children. The alpha type 
Ashley White Knights the Sim Cuck by tossing him a diaper that he is using. The diaper uh, which uh, he is a parenting pro because of his use of these diapers, he tosses it to the Sim Cuck. This helps him to resolve, the, this helps the Sim Cuck to resolve his issues by using this type of diaper. The signal, all slaves of the feminist plantation state must work together for the common cause, serving their female masters. These are the signals that this commercial is sending. It is sending a strong signal subtly for you as a male, as a man, that you must serve in the feminist plantation state. The, the overall impression of the commercial is that you have a, a carefree life as a married man who is procreating, who is uh, having children. The reality of it is when you marry a woman and you have uh, children, these things can happen to you. There's a high likelihood of divorce rate. Secondly, the children most likely will be weaponized against you in terms of custody, in terms of child support. All types of things can happen to you. In essence, what will happen to you, you become a money resource for the female that you marry. It is not the happy-go-lucky life that this commercial portrays. It is more likely a horror story of you being hauled into court repeatedly, of your children being kept away from you, of you being tormented, all manner of evil happening to you because you got married and you procreated. And let's say you do stay married. You do raise your children. You will be on the hook for if not hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of dollars, depending on how you raise your children, what you have to do in terms of raising them, feeding them, clothing them, educating them, all those things will happen to you. And again, if you get divorced, which is highly likely, you will be on the hook again for hundreds of thousands, to maybe millions of dollars, depending on what happens, depending on what you have as resources as a man. Now, again, the reason why these commercials are starting to happen is because, A, the latent men are all bad, men are toxic, uh, toxic masculinity, all those things are failing. So what is happening now is that they are approaching it from a subtle manner to encourage men to, again, be enslaved to the feminist plantation state. And secondly, the marriage rate fall off is causing a reduction in childbirth rates, a reduction in uh, all types of things. Everything associated to marriage is falling off. I will give you another example of what's going on. As you may know, I work in the retail logistics uh, side of things, and I see what's coming into the stores. I see what's being sold. I see what's uh, being sold heavily, and I see what's not being sold. So I will say to this, uh, the trending of diapers up until... I'd say about uh, early 2016, in, in one of the stores that I worked in, every day the baby section was overrun with women and their husbands, wives, everything, trying to get diapers, trying to get all types of things from that section. Then along the latter part of 2016, I began to notice a falling off of uh, women coming into the stores. 
Uh, it, it wasn't so much overrun. It wasn't so much uh, customers coming in. Things began to fall off. And in fact, the place I was working with, working in, uh, they had a huge baby section. They had a, uh, a place where people could make a baby registry right on the spot right there. All that um, by the early part of 2017 was taken down. This is because the business was falling off that bad. And of course, again, uh, you have noticed that Baby Cyrus is gone. And the place I currently work in, if you go into the, uh, uh, the baby section, it is crickets. There's nobody there. There are customers in the other part of the store, but there, there's nobody there. There are, again, when I was working uh, in another location, we could not keep certain types of diapers in stock. It was always overrun, and then it fell off. So that's one aspect of it. Now, the other aspect I've cited before, men now shopping by themselves. Men not having women with them with their sh when they're shopping. Men shopping by themselves. Men not taking any advice from women. These things, again, my MGTOW brothers, are a direct effect of the penetration of the MGTOW philosophy. And what is going on, my MGTOW brothers, is panic. These corporations who support the wedding industry, the baby industry, all these types of things that surround marriage, procreation, all those types of things, these corporations are beginning to lose money. That's what's going on, my MGTOW brothers. And there is also the, the desire of feminists to keep you, to keep you, my MGTOW brothers, enslaved to the feminist plantation state. So that's why, again, you will see these strong signals which are being sent subtly. And you must, my MGTOW brothers, be aware of these things. See around these things, see through these things, because it is nothing more than A, desperation, and B, a, an attempt to keep you enslaved to something you should not be. My MGTOW brothers, again, there is no benefit to you to cohabitate with or to marry a woman in this day and age. There is no benefit to quote unquote, keeping the society going by procreating. Because what you are doing is supporting the feminist plantation state. You are giving, by having children, you're giving women the ability to weaponize those children and to use them against you in a court of law. That's what you're doing, my Maytel brothers. There's no benefit to you. The only thing that you can do in this day and age is stay on the MGTOW path and stay free. You have the right to stay free. You have the right to go your own way. You do not deserve to be enslaved. You do not deserve to be coerced into something that you should not be into. You, my MGTOW brothers, are worth more than what these feminists want from you. And what they want from you is your resources. They want your labor. They want to break your back. That's what they want to do to you. So again, my MGTOW brothers, do not listen. Do not take heed to these signals which are sent to you, these strong signals which are sent to you subtly. But understand that you as a MGTOW man have decided to go your own way and therefore you should go your own way. And never mind what these feminists say about you destroying society. It is the feminists that have destroyed this society. It is not you, my MGTOW brothers. Again, do not heed these signals. Do not 
Think about these things in your mind, but concentrate on going your own way and staying free. This has been the MGTOW Infinium, and this has been an Infinium training session. My MGTOW brothers, stay safe, stay strong, stay on the MGTOW path, and remember, MGTOW is the liberation of men's minds. MGTOW cannot and will not be stopped.